Okay, so starting with this one, most people would start by adding up all these distances to come up with how long this line is, and then they would start creating off of this one. But I'm going to approach this one in a different method, and you can see that we have the two numbers starting from this location to get me up to this point. And once I calculate, or, how to, or show you how to get to that point, then we can go on and create the other ones. The only thing that we're going to have a little bit of trouble figuring out, and it's not really that bad, it's just this horizontal line here, like we did before. But remember, and sorry, I called it a horizontal, that vertical line. But what we're going to do, like we did before, is use the vertical overall dimension, and then we're going to subtract the two other dimensions that are coming up to it. So you can see from this one, I can start off with a 4, and if I minus the 1.75 and the 0.75, that should give me the distance to locate here. Other students typically have trouble figuring out angled lines, and if you have the two dimensions that you need, just like we're going to create with this first one, you can see that angles are no problems. So let's go ahead and get into AutoCAD, and then I'm, I will start at this point. And we're going to go up to this point. Okay, so starting from AutoCAD, we're going to use the line command. Specify my first point, so I'm just going to click somewhere on the screen. In this case, I'm going to, I'm going to turn off the polar tracking that I have on, or I can leave it on. In this case, let's just use the ortho. Now, if you wanted to, you can add up all of those dimensions that are horizontal and it will get you the overall here. But what, I, like I said when I was previewing this one, I want to go up in this, this direction. So I'm going to type in the X coordinate first, which is 3.5, and then I'll type in the Y coordinate, which is 4. So taking a look back at your drawing, you can see that I need to go in the X direction first, which is our 3.5 dimension, and then I will go in the forward direction, and that's going to give me that angle of this line that I have, I have to create to start this object off. Okay, so I have my first point specified. I'll type in 3.5, comma, 4. And once I hit the enter button, you're going to see that AutoCAD will indeed draw that first line at an angle. I have the ortho turned on, and once again, that's going to be this icon. I'm dragging to the right, I'll type in a distance of 2, followed by the enter button. Then I want to go down, and this is the one that if you don't want to do the math, you can let AutoCAD do it for you. So make sure that you're previewing where you want this line to go. I want it to go straight down, apostrophe C-A-L, enter, and then type in your expression, which is 4 minus 1.75 minus 0.75 and when you hit the enter button you're gonna see that it did calculate that distance for me which is 1.5 I'll go to the right a distance of 1.75 now I come to the line with the angle on it so remember that I do have the X direction and I do have the Y direction so in order to get to that point and remember that we're located here. We have to give the X coordinate first, in this case, which is our 0.75. And then we have to give the Y coordinate, which is 0.75. But in this case, since I'm starting at this direction, remember going to the right is a positive number on the X axis and going to the left is a negative number. Going up is a positive number in the Y direction and going down is a negative number. So in this case, we're at this location, we want to go to the right, and we want to go down. So I have a positive x-coordinate, and I'll have a negative x-coordinate. So I want to type in the 0.75 first, comma, and then I have to give it the y-direction, in this case, which is a negative 0.75, 
when you hit the enter, enter button, you're going to see that you are going in that direction that you want. I'm going to pull in the downward direction and type in 1.75. And then I have that option to close this. So once I select close, it should go back to the beginning and it will close the, uh, the uh, command. So the most important thing to remember with this one is that you don't have to go this direction if you do have the X and Y coordinate. So like I said, if you do have the positive X and Y coordinates or negative, in the case of this one over here, you can construct your lines without having to do a lot of more math or, or trimming. Later on, you're going to find out that there are easier ways of doing this. But for what we need to know right now, the principle of understanding this will, will be super important to you. Because this method can also be used when we're moving objects or, or doing some other things with them. So you're going to see that when we want to copy them, understanding the rectangular coordinate system is going to be really crucial. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and I hope I explained everything clearly to you.